Pat with Pat's Two Cents. The Lord gave me a dream a couple of nights ago, and it's addressing those of you who are willing to put up with stuff in relationships. God sees. God knows the sick stuff that you've been putting up with because you're trying to be the glue that keeps a sorry relationship together because you do not want to be without anyone. You do not want to be alone. You don't want to live alone. You don't want to feel alone. And you don't want to be lonely. Oh, so you put up with the most sickening, asinine choices just to keep your lover's heart, to keep your lover by your side. You have no idea the kind of love God has for you, but you are settling for not second best. You're settling for the bottom of the barrel. You're settling for the gutter, a gutter snipe type of love. Why? Because you're desperate. Listen, let me share this dream. Maybe this will wake some of you up. Because some of you, I believe God is showing me, you're in this situation right now as we speak. I dreamt that the next door neighbor was a man and a woman. I believe they were a married couple or they were shacking. That part wasn't crystal clear. The bottom line was they were together in a so-called committed relationship. Now, the woman and the man were both attractive. The woman looked like she was somewhere in her late 30s to late 40s, somewhere in there. Very attractive. Something happened and they had to come out of their apartment. She, her husband or boyfriend, whatever he was, or a common law, whatever, and two other women came out of the room. Now, here was the crazy part. They were all buck naked, but they had to hurry and get out of the apartment for some reason. They didn't have time to cover up their shame. Now, I looked at the woman's face. The man was comfortable. The two women looked awkward. But the woman who was supposed to be in the committed relationship with this guy looked like she was fighting the tears, fighting tears. And I looked at her and I asked, are you all right? And she swallowed it back down and said yes. And I knew she was lying through her teeth. The pain was written all over her face. I wanted to grab that woman right there and say, why are you putting up with this crap? Why do you think you have to succumb to such degradation? Why must you lower yourself? Why are you bowing to this crap and bowing to this man like this? Now, for some of you who may not be able to read between the lines, it was quite obvious to me what was happening. But some of you may not get it. So let me explain. The two women were freaking out with the man and his woman. All five, four of them were in the bed together. Mm-hmm. Together. Yeah. And you could tell I had a knowing in the dream. It was an automatic knowing that what she was doing, let's call it uh, brother and sister B or Mr. and Mrs. B. All right. The two of them... She agrees to this man and his excessively sexual needs in order to keep the relationship together. And he wants to be with other women. So men tell this, this they, they play this head game with a, a hard up woman and say, now I'm not going behind your back. At least I'm being honest with you. But you have to understand, this ain't about love. This is just about need. So if you can help me get my need met, I'll be your man. I'll take care of you. I'll do this. I'll do that. I'll always be by your side. But now, but now you got to be my woman. You got to understand a man has needs. And if you love me, you love me just the way I am. That's all the bull they talk. And you sorry, needy. Now, I'm not trying to be insulting, 
You sorry, needy women go for the okie doke. You hate every minute of it, but you play by their rules and you dance to their tune rather than lose them. You ain't losing Jack, baby. You got a hole for a man and you think you're going to keep him by being a hole yourself and helping him hold in front of you. So this man is screwing three women, you and the other two women. You think God doesn't see, but see, God knows how to do something to pull the blanket off of your facade and show everybody, everybody who was in the hallway, who was around or lived in the apartment, saw you guys come out buck naked. And it was obvious what was going on. It was obvious your thing was interrupted. So what I want to ask you, how desperate are you? How low must you bow before you finally bow your behind out of that mess? See what you're doing in essence, especially those of you women who think you love God. No, you don't. What you're doing is you have replaced God with this piece of man that ain't out there for nothing but a bunch of piece of tail. He's just out there playing games while he's playing you at the same time. You come in handy. You get along okay, so it's cheaper to keep him. So he keeps you, but he gets to have his cake and eat it too. Yeah, he gets to have all the desserts while you have to go through all the shame and humiliation, hating every minute of it, but hoping that one day he'll see how much you love him and he'll really value you one day. No, it ain't going to happen, baby. It's going to get worse and worse. It's going to get deeper and deeper. It's going to get more freaky deep. Every time you turn around, he's going to want a little something more freaky. Because sin never gets satisfied. Sin wants more, more, more. And you think that you're proving your love for this man. Now, I don't know who you are. And whatever man you are that plays those kind of games on women. God's got your number. And one day your number's going to be up. And you better stop it. Because if you're messing with somebody God's hand is on, God's going to put his hand on you and it ain't going to be to shake your hand, give you a hug, or welcome you into the kingdom. Judgment's going to come hard on your behind because of the pain you're causing and the mind games and manipulation you're doing. Now, I don't know who this is for, but this is a warning to both woman and man who are in that type of relationship. You're trying to swing in all these different directions, swinging with couples, swinging with other women, swinging with people in the bed with you. Trust me, baby cakes, the whole thing is going to come down and blow up in your face if you don't stop now. God is coming real soon, and he ain't coming to play patty cake. He'll slap you upside the head and let everybody know you're dirt, and on top of it, you'll lose out on eternity. You think you hurt now, you watch what God gets through with you. This is your warning. Whoever you are, male or female, you better stop now. You better stop. Because God doesn't show stuff like that unless he's ready to deal with it. And when God starts dealing, baby, as one hand you do not want to be in the hands of an angry God. Think about it here. Those of you who are willing to listen, God bless you. Shh.